Okay guys, this video is going to be about the Lowe's Cobalt Toolbox. This toolbox I've had for probably three, no more than that, three or four years now. It's all stainless steel. When they built it, it was all TIG welded. It's, it, this is the big one. This is their one that they always sell for like $1,800. So this is the big unit with the fridge. I don't have anything in the fridge because literally my kitchen is three feet that way. So I just, I just don't have a need for it, but I have it plugged in. It works. This toolbox, like I said, it's all stainless. So it's kind of hard to keep clean, but you know, for what Lowe's is doing, um, I had, I had to, before I bought this, I had a stand up craftsman toolbox. None of the drawers were ball bearing. And I'll be honest, that thing was a piece of crap. I bought it on Black Friday along with all the Gladiator stuff. And I want to say I spent two or $300 on it. But man, that thing, I filled that thing up within the first year of owning it. And this thing, I filled it up. But, you know, with all the extra storage I have around this garage, I have managed to, you know, kind of empty it out, sort of. This toolbox, I haven't had any issues with it. Like I mentioned, I've had it for a few years. The One of the big reasons I bought it was for this big shelf here, because it's the full length of the toolbox. And all of my sockets are in here. Well, these aren't all of my sockets, but the vast majority of my sockets are in here. And I bought all the trays from Craftsman. And you know, you could fit all your uh, various sizes, uh, you know, your three eighths, your half, your quarter. and you know, it it's really it makes it really easy when you're working on a car project. Oh, I need a 13 millimeter. Come over here. You're not looking through your drawer. It's just right here. So, this is probably one of the main reasons I bought this toolbox. And you can fit most tall sockets without it hitting it. So, but that was one of the main reasons I bought it. Plus, like I said, I ran out of space in my old toolbox. And okay, my sh my sh shelves aren't organized very well, but. But, you know, so I've got stuff, miscellaneous stuff in all the drawers. And, you know, I've been fairly happy with it. There's a, on the side of it, there is a electrical panel that I have some chargers plugged into. Mostly those are, that's actually for the, the refrigerator. And that big box, that's actually for my shop light from Harbor Freight um, that you can hang under the hood. So, but... I've been real happy with this toolbox, and I know this this is a throwback. This is an old iPod photo. You plug this into the iPod adapter here, and you can listen to your shot music all, all day long. So this is an old school this is an old school Pioneer radio, but hey, you know what? It works. And I have a cable here. It actually has a headphone jack, so. You know, I, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S6, and I just can plug in the headphone jack from here to here. Bought a cable on, I think it was from Firefull.com. I bought, just bought a RCA, that's not an RCA, I'm sorry, just a standard headphone jack for both ends. And you plug it in, plug it into your phone, and you can stream music from your phone, or play music from your phone. Now, the newer one may have Bluetooth capability, I don't know. I'll be honest, all I'd have to do is replace the head unit. I'm pretty sure that this is just a standard head unit that they've got a converter going from uh, 12 volt to 110. So it's probably just a converter somewhere in there, but I haven't taken the box apart to find out. And that looks like it would be a pain to get to. Uh, well, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not messing around with it, so, but it has a built-in radio and it's got speakers. Of course, I can't really play music because of YouTube's copyright stuff, but it's got a set of speakers in it and it thumps pretty well. I mean, it's not a subwoofer or anything. There's not really a tweeter. Well, I guess there's a small tweeter built in, but you know, these aren't six by nine. It's not a big powerful system. So, but you know, I got me music. I got my beer fridge if I really wanted it. And all my tool, you know, a good, a vast majority of my tools fit in here. So, pretty happy with it. I haven't had any issues with it really. I think the only thing that, that happened was I lost 
one of these edge one of these flew off when I moved but I found it I found one of these plastic edging um, scissors pop off I found it somewhere oh nope it's right here this one's missing I thought I found it but who knows where it is <laughs> but anyway so that's the Lowe's big toolbox and I guess you could drop a NASCAR on it like this that they show in the commercial but for me to get this home it actually comes in two pieces so you kind of see the attachment point right here I think it's just a Phillips head yeah it's just a Phillips head screw holding a, a bracket that t attaches to the top and bottom so this uh, toolbox is actually comes in two pieces so I was able to get this home in the back of my pickup truck with a friend helping me lift it in two pieces now when I moved I emptied it out for the most part but I left it attached as one unit and my movers were able to get this off the back of the truck using the loading dock and uh, or the yeah loading dock whatever you want to call it and they were able to move it really with no issues so but overall I've been very happy with this toolbox it it's hold, held all of my tools for the last five or six years you know I know Harbor Freight sells a bigger toolbox or it's a little bit longer not as you know might be a little bit more deep for like 400 bucks and I see these guys welding together these like ultimate workbenches by with the steel frame they put like a steel top on it and then they slide into the Harbor Freight boxes if I had the room or if I didn't already own all this gladiator stuff I probably would go with that but you know I'll be honest with this between the cobalt and the gladiator stuff I'm good with tool storage pricing this was an $1800 toolbox I got this toolbox for just over $1200 the reason I was able to get it for that cheap was the fact that cobalt was discontinuing this particular box they were replacing it with the new box that doesn't have the beer fridge the new box has two shelves here two bigger they're about the same Actually, yeah, they're about two of these, two of this size, like six, eight inches deep, two of those, and it allows more for storage. And I think they're having issues with the refrigerators. So, comes with that, comes with a different radio. The radio, the new radio has a USB port on it. It may even have Bluetooth. I would have to confirm that, but the speakers are the same. All Pioneer with a radio and room for all your tools. I got this for $1,200 because it was discontinued and I also had a 10% coupon for moving since I was moving from, no, I just moved into my house, that's right. So I had a 10% coupon and so off $1,200, I saved another $120 off the price with that 10% uh, moving coupon. So for me, you know, $1,100, a lot of money for a toolbox, but honestly, go price out a snap-on a, a matco you know it i'm probably half of what those toolboxes are going for for a similar size so but this is a, a lowe's big cobalt toolbox thanks for watching my video and if you haven't already please subscribe